success that I'm getting now is I don't have to look for people anymore. I don't have to, um, because at the beginning, I, you know, would contact, contact, you put in that footwork of contacting as many people as you can to, to um, showcase the product um, that now I don't do it anymore. Now I get uh, Oh, he, hey, I heard that you have, you know, this product and I'd love it. And they contact me now. So I don't have to like look and search uh, for people. But that is what happens when you put that footwork in um, in the beginning, the no sleeping, the always contacting, the, the getting your name out there um, day in and day out, day in and day out, like um, for, you know, a year, two years. Um, and this is like team no sleep. This is doing this, you know, um, not just getting excited because you got, you know, one person to to um, showcase your product, but you're constantly doing it. You're, you're not stopping. So that's what I did um, on a consistent basis. And now you know, I don't have to do that. I'm, our product is in major magazines all over the world, um, in movies, and and this isn't. I I didn't have to knock. The door actually came to me, and that was that's just it was just basic footwork of everything that I just said on a consistent basis. Yeah, I'm sure people watching this and going, yes, that's exactly where I want to get to. I need to follow this this process. Uh, and you said, you know, you're being really consistent about it. Uh, how many times were you, you know, reaching out and contacting, you know, these influencers or people to actually showcase your, your product on a, you know, was it a daily basis? And if so, how many per day? Yeah, it was definitely a daily basis and it was... Um, I didn't really think of how many per day, but if I were to think about it, I would say about, I would find one good one. Like I wouldn't do, um, 10 people in a week or something like that. I want, my main thing is, you know, my business name is Boho Exotic Studios. I wanted a girl that, that looked bohemian, looked exotic, wore hair extensions. I wanted someone to reflect what I, what I sold. So I constantly went after whoever that was. I would just scroll through and find a beautiful woman um, that wore hair extensions, and I, I sought after that person. Um, and and that's what I did always, and I still do it. I'll just I will scroll and try to find someone. You know, I I now like to find um, new people, new fresh faces, because um, once they leave um, and are with my company, they usually get the opportunity to to do a lot of bigger things. Um, so it's kind of like if you're a model for the company for my brand, um, there is opportunities out there for you if you're trying to escalate your. You know, your own business so it's not just um it's not just wearing my product and you get to wear my product you know you're wearing it and you're actually get, getting discovered um and and so that's a really <clears throat> pardon me that's a really awesome thing to know but it's all about what you know since i'm in the beauty industry i have to be very careful on who i select and i don't want to um just go network to 10, 30 people, I, I think being selective is more where to add. Like, for instance, if I were to sell um, fitness clothes, for instance, I wouldn't go to any beauty person. I would go to people that worked out a lot um, and, and you know, people that, that um, show their skin a lot. Um, you know, I would just, that's what I would follow in the wavelength of whatever it is that I'm selling. And at that point, you know, I, I would do, I would probably contact since there's not many people in fitness, I would probably contact every single person that I could think of, um, or see on Instagram and get my face out there that way but it's all about just hitting the streets so even if you have one good one that really represents the company then you're golden you don't need hundreds of thousands you really just need that one that can be able to represent the brand